Hello YouTube, it's Suze from Suze Views with another glorious day here in Vermont. And as you can see, it is quite a glorious day in Vermont. And they're not always as glorious as this, I can assure you, as the videography will probably continue into the winter. You'll be able to see more and more of what Vermont is like at all four seasons, but today it's a hot summer day. So hot that I'm forced to wear a hat because the sun is like baking my skull. And that's why I pulled over to get a little view of what I'm looking at today on my journeys around Vermont and sharing them with you. And I've got a really beautiful cornfield in the back. Check it out. Check it out, people. The corn is real, right? The corn stalks are really awesome, right? We're getting this magical time of the year here in Vermont where the corn's just about to be harvested and shared. But look at how tall these corn stalks are, man. They're taller than me. They're way taller than me. They never used to be like gigantic like this. I guess that's something to do with the stuff we're putting in our food or fertilizer or both. Who knows anymore? I mean, the government's got your back, right? It's always doing what's best for you and checking out what kind of food you're eating, what's in your water, what's in your air. How are you today? It's a beautiful day in my life. And every day I wake up and I think, ah, I'm still here. I'm still here to share good messages. I'm still here to enjoy this beautiful earth. I'm still here to enjoy this beautiful body. I'm still here to share my smile. Many of you write me and call me and tell me that you look forward to seeing my videos. You look forward to seeing a little bit of normalcy here in Vermont because maybe it's not like that where you live. It's still like that where I live. Although more and more things are happening on a daily basis to change that that perspective. It's a little disturbing and it's a little terrifying to think about our world's changing so much. I'm like out here enjoying the corn, right? And the nature and the breeze and the sun. I'm enjoying the blue sky. I'm enjoying the moths that just float around. I'm enjoying the blackbirds that cry out and play in the hay on the ground and find things to eat. I'm enjoying connecting with you. I think it's important that we keep finding things that we enjoy. Keep finding things that bring us joy. If we don't do that, we're lost. All I know is that anyone who's plugged into their computer or their news outlet on a regular basis seems to have a lot less joy than I do. Maybe there's some knowledge in that. Maybe there's some wisdom in that. I spent most of my life unplugged. And I hope to spend the rest of my life very unplugged. I'm not a big fan of technology, but here I am using technology to reach you. And just like any other good superhero, you've got to use what you have at your disposal to make changes in the planet. You can use technology to change our world for good, just as I believe technology is being thwarted to change humanity for a different purpose. We can do that, but we need our collective consciousness to be strong, to pray, to exercise, to breathe, to resist, to question, to always, always question, especially that government. I just came from voting and I thought to myself as I put it in the machine, will this count for anything? Our actions have to count for something and we have to make sure people are accountable. We have to make sure that we are putting something into action every day, changing, changing. 
the world through our actions. Actions speak louder than words, my friends. And that's why I'm doing these videos. Put action into words. To put words into action. That's what I meant. <laughs> Just another mirror. Don't be fooled. Actions. Words into actions. Actions into words. Let me just... Ugh. Can't even talk. Sometimes that happens. But it's another day and I go on to make changes in the ways I can. And hopefully you'll make changes in the way you can. And right now it's enjoying this cornfield. Feels like I need to go buy some corn from the local market. So I will. Or my local farmer, even better. People who are struggling, small businesses, farms that need us to speak up for them before we can't. Well, my friends, it's another beautiful day and I'm off to enjoy it. Namaste. I'll see you back here for more Sue's Views soon.